Hi, my name is Dawson Church, and the theme today is Disappointment in Love Relationships. I'm going to show you how to use EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques, or tapping, to really take away that sting in our heart when either our love relationships don't work out, or we long for somebody and there's nobody there. EFT has been shown to be very effective for anxiety, depression, and other psychological problems in over a hundred studies published in peer-reviewed medical and psychology journals. Rather than using acupuncture, inserting needles into the skin, it uses acupressure, light tapping or pressure on the skin, and this can make you feel a whole lot better a whole lot more quickly. I remember one evening many, many years ago in Cancun, Mexico. I was at a Gestalt therapy conference and I was learning wonderful psychological healing techniques from the instructor. But I remember looking at other people there who were either coupled or single and having a good time. And I had nobody and I felt so lonely. I felt wretchedly lonely because all my attempts to attract a great person into my life had been a dismal failure. They hadn't been successful at all. I was so miserable. I remember there on the beach in Cancun, lying on the beach, looking at the stars, wishing there was somebody I had to call my own, and crying bitterly over where I was in my life. I don't want you to be that sad and that upset. Whether it's Valentine's Day and there's nobody there for you, whether you're in a relationship and it hasn't worked out the way you'd hoped it would, whether you've been in one relationship after another, serial monogamy, whether you've tried lots of different ways to meet people, they haven't been successful, whatever it is, EFT can help. Let's now do some tapping and focus on disappointment in love relationships. First of all, take a deep breath. Breathe deeply and tune in to that disappointment wherever it was in your body. I know that long ago night in Cancun, it was in my heart. My heart literally felt like it was breaking. So tune into where in your body you feel your disappointment over where you are with love relationships in your life right now. Now rate that disappointment on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 meaning you have no disappointment at all, and 10 being you are as disappointed as you could possibly be. 10 out of 10 disappointment, or zero. What's your number right now? So find out where it is in your body and give me a number and preferably write down your number and be happy to write it down with the FT because it drops so fast usually people can't believe how swiftly they change. So let's do some general tapping first and we'll start with what we call the karate chop point over here. Tap here with the fingers of the other hand and repeat after me. Even though I have all this disappointment in my life around love relationships, I deeply and completely accept myself. Another breath. Even though I have all this disappointment in my life over love relationships, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I am not where I want to be in my life when it comes to love relationships, I deeply and completely accept myself. Tap now on the spot your eyebrow meets the bridge of your nose. Deep disappointment. Side of your eye. Things haven't worked out for me. And your eye. I had all these expectations. And your nose of a wonderful relationship and your lower lip and it just hasn't worked out. Take a breath. 
Tap where your collarbone meets your breastbone on either side. It hasn't worked out for me. Then tap about four inches below your armpit. I didn't think I would feel this way at this stage of my life. Tap your aquatic chop point again. I'm hurting so badly. I'm hurting so badly. I feel this feeling in my body of wanting so much more, of knowing there can be so much more and not having it. I feel the gap between what I want in love and what I have in love. And it sucks. It sucks to have that gap between what I know is possible for me, the love I know I deserve, and where I am right now. I feel terrible. It sucks to be where I am now. I hate being where I am now. And that is where I am. Another breath. Tap again. I hate being where I am now. Side of your eye. When it comes to love. Under your eye. I had so many dreams. And your nose, and they never worked out. Chin. All these dreams. Collarbone, and they never worked out. And your arm. I see other people who have love in their lives. But I don't have what I want when it comes to love. I don't have what I want. I want more, and I don't have it. Take a breath. I'm thinking now about everything I want in love that I don't have. I'm still me. But that special someone who could fulfill me isn't there. I feel all alone. I feel like I've missed out. I've missed out on love. I look back over the last years of my life. I could have had so much love, and it never happened. The love I know could be there never happened. I accept myself and my life the way it is, even though it's not what I wanted, it is my life. I am me. I'm a good person. I'm strong, even though I don't have the love of my life in my life right now. I know there's more. I know there's more to love. It's not in my life right now. And I'm still okay. I want more, and I don't have it. I want way more, and it's not there. All my hopes, all my dreams, all my desires, 
all my longing for love. Hasn't been enough for it to manifest. My longing hasn't been enough for it to manifest. I haven't been enough for it to manifest. I'm all alone. I feel alone. I feel these feelings in my body. And it sucks. And that's the truth. I wanted someone and they're not there. And I feel terrible about that. What I wanted didn't happen. And that's my life. That's my life. That's the way it is. This lack of love in my life is the way it is. This lack of love in my life, that's the truth. It's a fact. The love I wanted and needed just isn't there. Sometimes it seems the only person who loves me is me. I love me. I'm a lovable person. I know I'm a wonderful person. Why can't anyone else see that? If I am so wonderful, why isn't the love of my life with me now? I am wonderful. I'm a good person. I try so hard to be a good person. And I am a good person. And I love the person I am. I love and accept myself. I love who I am. Because I'm trying so hard to make things work for me. Even when they don't work out, I'm trying so hard. And I give myself credit for that. I love and accept myself, even with no one in my life. I love and accept myself for being me. I love and accept myself for being the good person I am. I love and accept myself for trying so hard. Trying so, so, so hard. Love and accept myself. Despite my faults, despite my mistakes, I'm not perfect, but I try so hard. And I love and accept me for trying so hard. I love and accept me just the way I am. Even without the love of my life right here and right now, I'm still a pretty cool person. I've got a lot going for me. I've got a lot going for me. I know I'm wonderful. I know I'm acceptable. I know I'm trying my very, very, very best. And I deeply and completely accept myself. I accept me. I accept who I am. I am lovable. I am acceptable. I love and accept myself with somebody here or without somebody here. I'm still me. I am me alone. And I am me with somebody else. If the love of my life is right here, right now, I am still me. I'm still the same wonderful, lovable person. And I accept 
that precious being that is me. I accept that precious being that is me. I'm trying so hard. I love myself for trying so hard. And whether or not that person is with me, I am still the same great person. I am still the same fantastic person. And so I fill myself with self-love. I let the love I have for myself fill my body, fill this aching void inside of me, fill this place in my heart that's so empty. I now fill myself with self-love. I am full of love. I have all this love to give. And the person I give it to right now is me. I give it to me. I deserve all this love. I deserve all the love I have inside. And I give it all to me. I might meet somebody who's the perfect person. I might not. The person I'm with might be the perfect person. The person I'm with might not be the perfect person. Either way, I am me. And I love and accept myself just the way I am. And I fill myself up to the brim with self-love. I am full of self-love. It overflows from me. Self-love pours out of me. Self-love fills this empty space. This empty space in my heart. This empty space in my body. I am full of self-love. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. I am lovable, I am acceptable, and I am filled with love. Okay, take a deep breath. That was a lot of tapping, I know. But I was trying to hit the problem from many different angles and subtly change your frame of reference to thinking about yourself as the giver of love. When you yourself see yourself as the source of love, as a person full of love, you can then radiate that love all around you, including to yourself. The best thing about being filled with love is that love overflows from you to everyone in the world around you, and it feels just great to fill yourself with love first. If you're empty, if you're depleted, you don't have love to give other people, you don't even have enough love for yourself. But when you tune into love and allow the love of the universe to flood through you and fill you up to the top, then you're overflowing with love for everything and everyone around you. You do deserve love. You do deserve the perfect person in your life. You do deserve to wake up every morning feeling as though you are have, have an infinite supply of love pouring into you and you deserve to walk through your days sharing that love with other people around you. Now, I'd like you, after you've tapped, now you've tapped, I'd like you to tune back into your body, same place in your body, and write down your new number. I'm willing to bet that it's way, 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 way lower than your first number. If it was a 8 or a 9 or a 10, maybe it's dropped down to a 2, a 3, a 1, even a 0. Many people, when they do EFT for the first time, are astonished how it drops all the way down to 0. Now, if you find you aren't at a zero yet, there are several options. One is you can look at the hundreds of videos that are free on our website. Go to my name, DawsonGift.com, D-A-W-S-O-N, 
G-I-F-T, DOSGIFT.com. You'll have access there to all kinds of resources, including the EFT mini manual for free, my eco meditation technique for free, free coupons to all of our online programs, like our love skills program called Tapping Deep Intimacy. You'll also find lists of certified EFT practitioners who can help you with this and work with you in depth and in detail. I also recommend you start to think about all the times in your early childhood when you wanted love from other people and, if you're like most of us, there was never enough to go around. So this is just a little taste of EFT as you dive deep into it, as you take a live workshop with me, or with one of our certified trainers, you'll uncover all of those childhood wounds and like peeling an onion, you'll gradually find the core of love inside of you. So don't suffer. Don't be like I was on the beach in Cancun all those years ago at that Gestalt Therapy workshop where I was lying on the beach and bawling my eyes out, my heart breaking because of a lack of love in my life. You have enough love in your life and the truth of the matter is you are love. I am love. You are love. We all are love. And reversing all of those old childhood pieces of self-talk that we heard that made us feel unlovable and unappreciated just isn't the truth. We need to let go of all of that, reverse that with EFT, tap it away, and claim the loving beings we are. So that's my wish for you right now. My affirmation for you is that you claim the loving being you are. And if I see you at a live workshop or in one of our online courses, you'll feel the love. Feel that love every day for yourself and for the world. Thank you ever so much.